Hi guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and today I want to be talking to you about Stoger firearms, Stoger pistols. Uh, nowadays, with the economy the way it is, everyone's looking for something good to protect themselves, but on a budget. And I think Stoger offers that really well. They have so many different sizes, and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Gideon Optics. We're going to talk about um, magazine interchangeability, talk about holsters. So it all started for me when I was at this place over here and I saw this bad boy laying there, the Stoger STR9MC. This is a micro compact, about 18 and a half ounces, came with 11 and 13 round magazines. Very, very highly efficient uh, capacity to size and weight ratio pistol with great ergos and it's been 100% reliable with me. I've also function tested it with all kinds of hollow points. It uh, has a beautiful finish, and um, I'm just really, really impressed with it. It's made it into my top five carries in a comparison. Even though it's the lightest and by far the smallest, it held its own with the other four in an upcoming uh, video down the line when I really pushed everything. I was doing seven yards, three attack or draw, two, two, and two on each timed, and this thing really, really held its own, if not the best, when you're looking at time and the effectiveness of, uh, of the hits would be. So it started with this, and I started paying attention to this because I looked at a video of Nightwood Guns, who gave it an excellent review, and I started following and talking to uh, Nightwood Guns. Then I came across Spin Firearms, who does a lot of uh, Stoger pistols as well. And since I got that, now we got some new models I'm going to be showing you with night sights colored that are really, really awesome. Over here is the STR9C, the compact. This one's 13 plus one with two different magazines. There's the finger option, base plate. I like it. Here's the flat if you needed a little bit more concealability. All these uh, firearms are empty. Let me take this one out here. And what's really crazy about the Stoger line, even their micro, and they're the only company to do this that I know of, even the micro takes different magazines and functions with it perfectly so far that I've tested uh, with the magazines from the bigger ones. So I just threw that one in here. It'll also take the 15 rounder and 17 rounders, 20 rounders that are available on some of their decked out S or combat models, etc. So that's pretty amazing because this is very thin, very small, very lightweight, 18 and a half ounces, uh, etc. Okay, here's a the 13 rounder in there, and I got a 15 rounder from one of the bigger ones, and look at that, and that feels fine to me, and that way you could rock it that way if you wanted to, and yet you have a lighter pistol than the full size, or as your backup magazine, or car mags, or whatever, which I often like to keep in my top carries, a um, some magazines, an extra magazine in the center console. So, there's the magazine interchangeability. Now, on the C here, this one is an optics ready model. Um, so this one I haven't really tested yet. I need to get longer screws to put on this Gideon optic. So budget pistol, budget ish optic, but still good quality. Look at his interviews with Ian from Forgotten Weapons. Those interviews were so awesome. This one, the Omega is kind of like the SRO at home. Look at that big giant window. So I don't regularly carry with a red dot. I did for a few months in the past and I took one through um, as a guest through a SWAT school. Uh, but I don't want to carry a micro red dot. I want a bigger window at least when I initially start carrying. So this thing should fill the bill for me quite nicely. Let's see if you can it's going to be hard to line this up, guys. I don't know if you'll be able to. Oh, there you go. Maybe they're getting a lot of bloom. It's not really like that, though I got it on the brightest setting. Now, I usually go three down from the top of the 10 settings. Let's try and do that. One, two, three. And try that again. This has got the circle dot green, which I think I'm really going to enjoy it. But look how clear it is and how wide the field of view is for a carry gun, because it's not about just 
shooting accurately, I want to be able to see if the bad guy actually has a weapon in his hands. If he's currently a deadly threat and I need to pull that trigger, uh, etc. So that's why I want a large uh, window. So it's kind of the SR at home for a lot less money. The Omega, I think I'm going to really uh, enjoy that. And they do have like shake awake and go to sleep. Uh, just under four minutes, it will go to sleep if it's not activated, uh, etc. So that's the plan is to mount that on this C. And then this is planned to become my carry with an optic, okay, and see how that goes. So I wanted to discuss the Omega and then the Mediator is their enclosed optic that, you know, could go on a long gun. You take that off and hopefully that will be going on this green one over here. Now, keep in mind, my MC has been 100% reliable, including all kinds of different hollow points. And this one, no, I'm sorry, this one, this one's the uh, optic ready in the OD green model, okay? So empty, optics ready in the green. And so this one, hopefully I will get the adapter plate, uh, the RMR adapter plate from Gideon. Hopefully they got one left so I can put that mediator, which is the acro style, on this and then this becomes a very kind of nice optics ready pistol for whatever your war purposes might need and again the magazines are interchangeable with anything you know anything bigger size so these 15 rounders fit in there if you had a s version of 17 or 20 rounders they would fit in there etc so if you like green like i do there's also fde models now this is a night sight optics ready version I don't actually see this one on their website that both has the night sights and is optics ready. So this might be a new model coming to you soon. And there's an FDE model as well uh, with the lights out. These night sights, this dot does is a little bit bigger and grows a, glows a little bit brighter than the rears, which I awfully like. So you don't get confused. You know what you're looking at and you're going to front sight focus, superimpose it on the bad guy or with your red dot etc. Now, this beautiful tungsten or gray model, I absolutely love. Uh, keep in mind, all these models have, um, the, the bigger models have interchangeable back straps, okay? So I haven't needed to. These are the mediums that come on it, but they came with uh, large and small back straps as well. All of these models, actually all models here, did come with two magazines. There are base models that may still only be coming with one. You'll have to check. It probably depends when they shipped and got to your LGS. But um, these models with the night sights or optics ready most likely are going to come with two magazines. Uh, so these came with two 15s. That came in with two 13s. One had the pinky extension. Uh, one was flat base. This one has a very small 11 if you really needed to like deep conceal uh, or the 13 rounder to get a good full grip on it. I do have large hands, not the longest fingers, but I wear an XL glove, 250 pound catch wrestling, grappling jujitsu kind of guy. Anyway, this was the fastest shredding pistol I have ever used. I took took this from, you know, the store that does my transfers and has an awesome auction site. You might want to check out uh, Harvey's Auctions because they occasionally have, like, you know, optics or turning ammo and cool stuff on there. Um, this tungsten, number one, looks beautiful. Number two, let me show you these Meprolite sights on it. It has this coolest looking greenish aqua blue <laughs> big front night sight little dots in the rear with a u notch and let me tell you people don't understand why that u notch that u notch is very fast for a defensive pistol you come on target really fast how fast i, I made some shots draw a first shot 1.35 seconds to a zone um, shredding. I did three attackers, seven yards, three, three, and three. We're talking just over four seconds and one run under four seconds to take three shots on three bad guys, A zone-ish, at seven yards. I shredded with this like John Wick, and uh, that's made me fall in love with these, and that's why I want to be able to play with optics versions as well. 
throw a red dot on there and be ready to go. So hopefully I'll get the longer screws for the Omega uh, for the compact, like I said. And uh, the Omega is becoming really, really popular. Great window. The Mediator, a little bit smaller window, but that's an enclosed that's an enclosed optic, enclosed emitter, so you can't, you know, rain dirt mud, SHTF. This is a little bit better, smaller window. This can go through the dot, the circle, or the circle and the dot. I think I'm going to run this one with just with the red dot. So hopefully I can mount that to this bad boy. But this thing I think is gorgeous. And these night sights, I wasn't sure when I saw this. I'm like, wow, that's cool. I've never seen that color like that. But I'm telling you, I picked these up so fast and I'm an older guy I'm a, if I'm happy if I get my draw to first shot you know a zone 1.75 seconds if I get under that if I get a 1.6 I start warming up 158 that's good I'm making like 135 to 155 with this uh super fast super fast in transition I really love this tungsten model with the Mepro light sights on it this model is not optics ready um so now I'll have an optics ready version I'll have the quick, up close, and personal, really rapid fire night sights, and I just love the look. There's also an FDE version or two. There might actually be two uh, FDE versions uh, that are coming out. So look at your LGS. And before we wrap up, guys, let me um, talk a little bit about. Let me talk a little bit about. Sort of purple magazine in there. Uh, let's talk a little bit about holsters. So Hop is a very hard guy to impress TFB TV. And one of Hop's biggest problems with this, he basically liked it other than it didn't have co-witness sights for the red dot. Um, his major complaint was holster compatibility. So this one I have found works uh, very well in this UM tactical holster, if I can find it here. This is UM tactical holster for um, a Shield Plus. It also fits very well in the Crossbead Shield Plus holster, but not all Shield Plus holsters. If there's a company out there that wants to send me dedicated Stoger holsters, that would be great. Here's some leather holsters. This is the Tagua four-way. You could wear it four different ways, and this one should work even well outside waistband for me with the optic. Here's a Don Hume holster that I'm carrying AOWB appendix outside the waistband. This will work great, but it does it sits too deep for the optic. Here's a Don Hume inside the waistband holster that uh, fits great, even though it's for another pistol. That one will work well. Oh, 18 and a half ounces, 23 and a half ounces, 25-ish and a half ounces. Might be a little bit more. I haven't put them on the scale with those night sights. Might be a slight difference, but basically 18 and a half, 23 and a half, 25 and a half. So we're talking good for home defense or, you know, when things get wild, uh, great for wintertime carry with the compact and great for summertime carry with the micro compact. And again, now you got a family of pistols that share the same magazines. Let's look at some more holsters that this would work well in. Here is a UM Tactical for a M&P. Used to have an M&P C uh, or a 2.0 C, whatever they call it. And it fits perfectly in there and will work with the red dot installed. So I think that's going to work out perfectly for me. Here's one from CYA, again, for a um, Smith M&P 2.0 compact, or the first compact. It's basically like the compact size. Uh, I need to loosen it up a little bit there, uh, but that it's, it's just pushing the Kydex to the side. I'm going to scrape the slide a little bit, but if I loosened up those there, I think this would work as well. Here is my Tolster holster, which I tell everyone to buy this. Tolster holster, contour, outside waistband, concealable, outside waistband holster for a P320. And again, it fits just about everything, just about everything, and you can increase or decrease retention there. So if you have a lot of different pistols, uh, you know, I legally not telling you to do that. I'm just saying maybe something that I may do. 
Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, isn't that great? So that works out as well. And one more holster that I found to fit in. This is a Safari Land 577 Pro Fit Long, which is a multi fit holster SLS, I think. No, GLS, I'm sorry, GLS. So this has retention, so this is probably a good out in the field. Uh, things get wild holster, and you have to push that. It's not like a level three holster or anything, but you naturally find your grip there and it hits that kind of trigger guard release. So this 577 Pro Fits Freyland might be good as a range holster or, uh, you know, if you had this ready to go. So anyway, guys, Stoger, I think they're great. Uh, I can't wait to get these two to the range. I've already shredded like crazy with this. I need to run some hollow points through it still. This is one of my top five carries already. This with the Omega might be the first kind of regular red dot carry for me is the plan. So um, also spin firearms. His has got like 1,200. That was a year ago. He's probably got 1,500 rounds or more through the STR-9C. Uh, at this point with no failures. Also, Honest Outlaw, uh, he shredded up close with this thing really fast. I mean, 75 yard hits. He, his wife um, was doing really well up close, double taps on multiple steel, and uh, wasn't too much recoil for her. These things handle recoil really, really well. This is a 3.29 inch barrel. So the 3.3 inch basically barrel, longer than like a 3.1 shield. I like that for better hollow point expansion. This is a 3.82 inch barrel. Again, it's like a compact slash what other people call a subcompact, even though there is a Stoger SC. This one, I think most people, good new shooters, will fit everyone's hands, females included, and um, still handle recoil, I am sure really really well these are very very shootable firearms and then the regular nines now there's f models there's s models there's combat models with threaded barrels and and suppressor height sights and all kinds of things this has a 4.17 inch barrel i like longer barrels but not too heavy for carry that way again if i things were bad and i had to run not the premium hollow points here's some you might want to freeze frame there and get a look at the different models and weights and barrel lengths and all of that. Thank you for bearing with me. Again, guys, I run all kinds of ammo through my pistols and then hollow points. I'll be running Max Tech 115, Federal Syntec 124, Fioki 147. I'll probably throw some Fioki range dynamics, maybe some Federal hollow points through them, etc. So check out Stoger. Some new models coming to you. I'm really impressed. I really love the uh, Meprolite Night Sights on the um, Tungsten. And uh, if you want to get an optics ready version, maybe throw on a Gideon Optic. I think, you know, budget pistol, budget optic, but that budget doesn't mean cheap anymore. Budget doesn't mean not quality. Budget doesn't mean unreliable. Um, so I think you'll be happy if you pick yourself up a Stoger. And I'm very interested to see how these Gideon optics work out. Thank you, everyone. Please drop me a comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you tried a Stoger. Did you realize the mag compatibility? How come Stoger magazines... Hey, there's a 15 around here. How come Stoger magazines even work in this nice, thin, perfectly ergoed memory pad, great texture micro? How come none of the other companies can do that? Because, quite frankly, I can carry this and this as the backup. Okay, or in the winter, or if things get bad times, I could be rocking one of these and, you know, this and a pocket holster or even in my boots that I have um, that have a little ankle holster attached to it that doesn't fly off and all that. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, get down there in the comments. Let me know if you try to Stoker or are you going to check them out. I highly suggest it. Thanks, everybody. Kaboom.